So the classic example is the collapse of a massive star, which essentially the history is that in 1916, so only just a few months after Einstein published his theory of general relativity, Carl Schwarzschild showed how space and time are distorted around, outside, a perfectly spherical non-spinning ball of matter. So it's, it's a solution of Einstein's equations. So it tells you the distortion of space-time outside a star, a simple model of a star. Now, it turns out that in those equations, if you just keep the distortion but remove the star, but leave the, leave the mathematics there, then you have the description of a black hole. So it's in there. And actually, interestingly, if you go, if you allow this solution to go infinitely far into the past, and so you just have this, you kind of continue it into the past, you get a description that's not only a black hole, it's a wormhole with a black hole and, and two universes and a white hole and one bit. So it's all there in the mathematics from 1916.